Hello and welcome to another how to video. My name is Ditech, CTO at DVS. Make sure before you go any further, you hit that like and subscribe button. It's really important to us to get to those 100,000 likes so I can get my YouTube plaque. All jokes aside, without those likes, comments and shares, etc., then it doesn't drive the content. And one of the quick videos that I want to go through today has come from a lot of the questions we've seen over the past few weeks. Now, we've all got in ourselves into a situation where we take our standard NVR setup and yes, we understand we can get into the admin menu of the NVR with the admin password, or potentially you can't, and I'll go through that step in a minute. But obviously the IP cam is connected to it. Maybe the engineers used a different passcode and they can't remember. Maybe they've left. Maybe the customer's been interacting or interfering with it. Or maybe you're taking over a job that the customer has now given you from somebody else and you don't know what those passwords are. You know, we've all come into those situations where we really need to get those camera IP passwords, but we only know the NVR admin password. Now that's quite simple to do and it's actually built into this local GUI web interface. You can't do this remotely through the web browser unfortunately so it is something you'd have to do on site. So if you can get into the NVR using the admin password, fantastic. Or if you have to send a password reset because you've forgotten your NVR password. Guys it happens all of the time. I use multiple different passwords and sometimes I just simply forget the password I've used or your engineer at the time has moved on and you don't know what that password is anymore. Or maybe the customer's changed it by accident or by mistake. So you can get into the local NVR admin interface. Now the next step is relatively easy for us to be able to show what those IP camera passwords are. And it is a built-in function, like I said, to the local GUI web interface. So first thing we need to do is I've actually turned the NVR password off on the local GUI. Most of you would leave that enabled, so you'd be prompted to log in to this web interface. Now this is relatively easy very straightforward to do. So I'm going to move the camera forward and show you this really quick back to basics we're calling this. We're going to do a couple of videos where we're really going back to basics to enable you guys to be able to get this information and hopefully assist a couple of you, especially when it's out of hours. So I'm going to reposition this camera. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Let's just make sure you can see. I would say that is a relatively good image there. Okay, so we can see the NVR interface here. So if I go into the NVR interface here, you can see the standard GUI for setup. If I go into the camera menu, so a lot of IP cameras connected to a 96 series NVR, I simply go to the camera web interface and on the right hand side, you'll see there's a list view option right by here. My preference is simply put it into list view. Now, what you can do is click on the show password box here. Now you can see here there isn't any password indication for these IP cameras. What you can do is click on show password and you need to type the admin password in for the NVR. So as long as you know that, then we'll be able to show the passwords for the rest of the cameras. So I'm gonna simply put this password in now and what we're gonna do is, sort of obscure you slightly while I do this, apologies, but I do want to make sure that where possible I can maintain uh, integrity. We are a security company after all. And just while I do this, so What you will see here, I've done, I sort of done some of this already. Okay, what you will see here, guys and girls, um, and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this Turbo DVR, and I'm gonna put this and obscure some of this password. You can see here in this file, the password is now shown. I'll take it away, hopefully Callum will blank this out. You can see here, the password for each of the devices is shown in that column. So 
giving that password by clicking on that function will enable you then to log into all of the IP cameras individually because they might have multiple different passcodes like we have on this system um, and like many of you guys do have. That way at least you can log into the IP camera directly through the IP address and then you'll be able to change the password if required or at least access it to change your settings. Happy days. What a brilliant, easy function. So it's a back to basics video. I hope you enjoyed it. Really, really shipping it back and simple. But keep watching for more content like this over the coming weeks. Some real simple step-by-step -step guides on how to use the basic functionality of the Hypervision system. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. See you next week for another how-to video.